Hi. 70 out. I got my tank top. I got my tank top on. Got sandals. I'm all stoked. Go see some friends. Just wanted to show you two of my favorite little pieces. I'll turn around the camera so you can see them. Look, you can still see me. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is a little mirror from my dear friend Tiff that she got me. Like, I think it was before or after our, uh, backpacking trip through Europe when we were 23, which was amazing, and I love it. It's like a collage mosaic with just a mini mirror in it. I look at it every day and think about where my next travel will be, which I hopefully, I don't know where it is, but Spain, Tokyo on my list, Scotland with my daughter. Um, so, and then I love this little tiny little painting by Wendy Jane Benton. It's a, uh, cat vampire with a little baby cat vampire on her back. So cute. I got it at one of uh, my friends Rodney and Timothy's house sales back in Omaha, which was amazing. Hey, cat. What should we show? Should we show on the basement art? Okay, let's go. So I'm a little worried that it's going to be too dark in this, this hallway to see um, my little art. Let's see what happens if I go in here. Oh yeah, it's super dark. I don't know. Um, you can kind of see it. So at my old apartment where I lived a few months ago for two years, I had art all over the walls, salon style. Art that my kids made, art from my collection, art that I made, um, random stuff from the party store, <laughs> random clippings, collages, my walls were full. So when we moved here into this new house, my daughter said, I don't want art everywhere. Um, so that's where you can see in the, in the main room in my first video. It's pretty spaced out, but um, I've got a little salon going in my basement hallway here and then lots of my art collection is just in storage and I'll just switch it out every year or a couple years or so. So I'm going to turn it around so you can see this, my fabulous garage hallway collection. Fabulous Heartbeat by Rodney Wall. Rodney Wall <laughs> reminds me of Jim Dine, one of my favorite artists, especially in, in undergrad. Peace, love, and sandy feet. I love the beach. San Clemente, California is my favorite. Gl grew up going summers there. This is a photo I did for a project. It was by G the photo was by G. Thompson Higgins. Gosh, it was a website empowering women, and that's my daughter there a few years ago. I cannot remember the name of that website. I'll try to find it so I can link it. Um, this is my drawing of one of my favorite YouTubers, Miranda Sings, because she's rad. I love this. I got this at an arts walk here in West Virginia, Handy AF, and um, I will also find that artist's name and link her down. She's on Instagram. She does all this stuff empowering um, women in non-traditional fields. And I love this print by Sophie Parker. She does amazing uh, feminist and feminine figures. Uh, follow her on Instagram. She's just amazing. She also does some great projects uh, curating online. This is a cat little print that I made when I was like nine. My kids think it's creepy. Or my son does anyway. It does. Okay. I, I can see that. It's kind of creepy. Yeah. This is a painting by Omaha based artist Bart Vargas, feminist. He did a lot of like words uh, in a similar form and I suggested he do feminist in brown and pink and he did and he very very kindly gave it to me and uh, I love it. So that's one of the works that I own by a man. Oh, Rodney Roll too. Rodney Roll is another man, and I love his works. This is the same one who did the heart. Um, it's just geometric. Got it at his house. Kind of. I don't usually like geometric art, but I, I I love his, and I love Rodney. He's so funny and happy, and it just reminds me of him. Oh, this is a little painting I did with an art swap. Uh, Nicole Franchine. It's so cute. Um, I gave her a little tiny little little body print, and she gave me this nice little abstract brown, kind of looks like outer space type thing. This is by Omaha-based artist Edith Buis. I'm tired of the war. And she was not only talking about actual, you know, war, but also just the war on women and how much we deal with and have to deal with. So that is my current garage hallway art scene. And I have tons downstairs too. Thanks for watching. I'm going to turn it around so you can see something else. I also want to show off my awesome feet earrings. Love it! And there's my modern uh, women artist calendar. 
It's on Georgia O'Keeffe. Every month is a different modern women artist. I love it. It's from MoMA. Can't get enough women artists. Over here, oh, oh yeah, Tony Brilliance, the other art by a man. Um, I got it at a Bemis auction in like early 2000s. Um, I love it. Some people don't, <laughs> but I do. I'm going to turn around and show it, and then I'll be done. I promise. So this is the print by Tony Berlant that I wanted a bean miss auction. I couldn't believe it. I don't win too many things, but here I am. I won this. I won art a few days ago. What the heck? Um, it's it's whatever. It's abstract. It's metal. It's not like most of this. I wouldn't. Well, I'm not gonna say whether I'd buy it or not. But anyway, so that's that. And there's Chalupa and some body prints I'm doing with um with B seaweed. So I'm going to color them in uh, either watercolor or um, colored pencil. We'll see. Okay, I agree. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.